This is your CBS 46 News update, brought to you by West Shore Home. Good evening, I'm Sean Gables. The man accused of killing eight people at three spas yesterday, Robert Aaron Long, is expected to face a judge tomorrow afternoon. Investigators say Long told them his attack was not racially motivated, but due to his sex addiction, those claims remain under investigation. Families have been literally ripped apart due to Tuesday's violence. People once married, now widowers, raising children who are now asking what happened to mom or dad. There was one person who did survive the shooting in Cherokee County. The family of 29-year-old Elsias Hernandez Ortiz told CBS 46 that doctors say it's amazing that he's alive. They say he was shot in the face and the bullet traveled down his throat and ultimately came out of his side. His brother-in-law says he's doing better now in the hospital and they're so thankful for everyone who has prayed for their family. Ortiz's young daughter says she doesn't get to see her father much because he works so hard to provide for her and her mother, but they are a close family. Last night, they got her right as close as she could to her dad as he was being loaded into the ambulance, and she says she was scared he wouldn't make it. They told us he was okay, and he was very lucky, and um, um, we, we prayed a lot for him to be safe. Um, and I just really thank all of the people that are watching this. Why? Because um, I really want my dad back. <laughs> I want him to be here. And I don't really know what to do. Investigators are still working to find out if the victims were targeted because of the race. The shooting comes after a spike in hate incidents targeting Asian Americans during the pandemic. Nearly 3,800 hate incidents directed at Asian Americans have been recorded since last March. This is all according to the group Stop AAPI Hate. The IRS plans to delay the tax filing deadline until mid-May. An official says the government wants to give Americans more time because the pandemic made taxes more complicated for some. But the IRS is also swamped with its workload right now. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News. Brought to you by West Shore Homes, Atlanta's one-day bath remodel.